Good morning, students, and happy Thursday. So for today, we are continuing on with probability. And this time, instead of using marbles, we are going to use a spinner. But the directions are the same. It even says here, use what you have learned to answer the following questions. So we have learned this yesterday. So we're going to use the spinner to find the probability for each of the following. Find the probability of spinning once and landing on each of the following. Well, this is on paper, so obviously we can't spin it, but we have to imagine that we can. So, first things first, we have to decide how many sections does our spinner have. So we can see that it goes from numbers 1 to 8. So we know that there are 8 in total, 8 chances depending on what number. So eight sections. So we know that there is only one of each. Okay, so let's do the first two samples. This one's going to be quite easy too. What are the chances you would pull a three or you would spin a three, I should say? Well, there is only one three on the spinner. So there would only be a one out of eight chance that we would spin a three. Just like there would be, as a trick, a one out of eight chance to pull any of these individual numbers. The second sample though, it's a tiny bit trickier. It says, what are the chances you would spin an even number? Aha, okay. so. We know that there are eight sections, but how many of those are even? Well, I'm sure we know, but just to go over it, we have two, four, six, eight. There are four even numbers on our spinner. So that means that we would have a four out of eight chance. So just decide what number or what set of numbers or what kind of number it wants you to spin or find the probability of spinning and then always make sure that you keep in mind that there are eight chances in total eight sections so of course we will go over this over zoom as needed but you can use what you've learned yesterday and today to figure out these probabilities and here for Thursday's spelling, you are going to be looking up each pair of words in your spelling dictionary. I love the spelling dictionary, as you know. And you're going to write the word that completes each sentence. So you're just going to make sure that out of each pair that you're writing the correct one in the two available sentences. So for example, you have here the words composition and constellations and each word is going to go in one of these two sentences and you have to make sure that you're writing it in the, in the correct sentence. And if you're looking in your spelling dictionary, or in this case, you may have a lot of them already written down from your definitions on Monday, then you will be able to um, identify them correctly. So for example, the blank, of stars is mostly hydrogen and helium there are 88 blank in space and they do not overlap each other so notice how you can be tricked because it says stars and you might immediately just put constellations because you know that constellations are made up of stars but if you're not careful and not and you uh, don't read both sentences first you will be tricked because actually it is the composition of stars is mostly hydrogen and helium and there are 88 constellations. So make sure that you're being very careful and reading your sentences before you make your decision. Then here in the bottom, you will be writing a list word that belongs in the category. So in the category of meaning, so here you have light, brilliance, brightness, what list word would give you the same um, meaning or the same, would be in the same category. 
and then at the bottom you're going to write each list word from the pronunciation so we've done this before you're going to pronounce the words remember that the upside down e's are pronounced like a short u the schwa that will help with your pronunciation so don't get um intimidated we've done this before but for example renovate 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 so you would write renovate and then decide whether renovate is a noun n verb v or adjective adj and then you'll do the same for numbers 12 through 15.